Today's Gospel says that the Apostle Thomas was called Didymus, that is, the Greek for twin. The Apostle Thomas probably had a twin sister or brother. Twins run in families. Twins run in the Christian family of faith. We are all twins of the Apostle Thomas, the doubting Thomas. If you find it unflattering to be a twin of the doubting Thomas, it will be helpful to know more about this Apostle who has been a victim of bad press. The only thing that most know about Thomas is the story of today's Gospel. Thomas is remembered as the doubter among the other faithful apostles, the stubborn holdout who demanded tangible proof. Even our secular culture refers to a skeptic as a doubting Thomas. In fairness, Christians ought to know more about the Apostle St. Thomas. What if the only thing we knew of St. Peter was that he denied Christ three times? What if the only information given about Mary Magdalene was her sins? We also need a complete picture of the Apostle St. Thomas. In addition to today's well-known passage, there are two other Gospel stories involving Thomas. The first occurs when Christ says that he is going back to Bethany to comfort the grieving family of Lazarus. The Apostles had just come from Bethany where a mob had tried to kill Jesus. All the other Apostles protested that returning to Bethany would endanger them. Only Thomas spoke up and said, Let us go along to die with him. Those are not the words of a skeptic, but of a loyal friend. This time, Thomas is again the odd man out, not in doubt, but in loyalty. The other Gospel story involving Thomas occurs when Jesus explained that he must return to the Father. Christ said, I am going to prepare a place for you. You know the way that leads where I go. Thomas replied, We do not even know where you are going. How can we know the way? This is not a lack of faith. This is an honest faith. Thomas admits he does not understand. He wants to understand his faith. If we piece together all the accounts of Thomas in the Gospels, we have not only the well-known doubting Thomas, but also the loyal Thomas and the honest Thomas. Thomas. Honest, loyal, yet questioning. Those are not the qualities of a skeptical doubter. Those are the qualities of a sincere believer. Saint Gregory wrote, Our faith owes more to the doubts of Thomas than to the faith of all the other apostles meaning that our doubts must be faced if our faith is to grow. An unexamined faith is not an authentic faith. Thomas is a model for modern Christians who raise honest questions from the perspective of a sincere faith. The faith of Thomas should also give hope to wary Christians. Too often we focus on the limitations of our faith. 
occasional failures convince some that they are not worthy Christians. The faith of Thomas reminds us that our consistent faith is more important than our occasional doubts, our loyalty more important than a few lapses, our strengths more important than our weaknesses. Nor should we brand others for a single failure. A child, for example, can be overwhelmed by one temptation to dishonesty and be reminded ever after that he is a thief. A spouse forgets one anniversary and is branded as thoughtless. An employee makes one unfortunate mistake and is marked as unreliable. It is not right to let one failure overshadow consistent goodness. Any informed Christian would be honoured to be a twin of the Apostle St. Thomas. Thomas doubted, but he was not a cynical unbeliever. From his honest doubts, we have the greatest expression of our faith, my Lord and my God.